just, uh, I just, uh, okay, well, 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 ladies and gentlemen, your next act of the evening is a very funny man, regularly here at the club, please be dancing up to Charlie Curry! The problem with uh, doing comedy is you actually have to inter interact with the real world and sometimes it's a little bit depressing. <laughs> on the uh, way down there, I heard on the radio, a 95-year-old man in uh, Miami beat his 87-year-old wife, uh, actually beat her to death. You have to ask yourself, where are the parents and all this? So in Ontario, there's now a diversion program for people who are too drunk to, to drive home. If you get pulled over, they don't just charge you anymore. They actually give you a course and tell you you shouldn't drink and drive. So I came up with this little piece of wisdom. Whenever I'm too drunk to drive home, I drive somewhere else. <laughs> In the uh, United States, the uh, Department of Agriculture released the statistics this year. For the 100th consecutive year, pigs actually killed more people last year than sharks did. Call <laughs> me stupid, I didn't even know pigs could swim. <laughs> so I had... Uh... I had the occasion to buy a birthday card, so I went into Walmart, and uh, all the ages were listed from 1 to 13 by year, first year, second year, right up to 13, then I went to 16, then 18, then 21, then 30, then 40, then 50. I started to peter out a little bit. But over to the right-hand side, I saw a birthday card for a 105-year-old person <laughs> sitting by itself, so I had to read it. And the, uh, the card said, Happy 105th birthday. Hope you live to 110, exclamation mark. I'm not sure I can see the sentiment in this card. Happy 105th birthday, I hope you're dead in five years. <laughs> Happy birthday, Jimmy, your 23rd birthday, I hope you live till you're 28. It's just, to me, it's just not catchy. <laughs> The Guinness people, I also heard this on the radio, the Guinness people, the world record people, said that the largest recorded human penis ever is 13 inches long. That's you know, a little disconcerting. If I'm not human, what the fuck am I? <laughs> So the bacon strip commercial, you know what bacon strips are? Bacon. The uh, pet snack. The announcer says that your dog won't know it's not bacon. My dog doesn't know cabbage isn't bacon. <laughs> <laughs> so I read in the newspaper that people who have been circumcised have a 65% lower risk of getting HIV. But the theory goes that if you lop it off completely, the risk goes down even further. <laughs> Anybody notice this week that our Sea King helicopter, one of the, the five, actually crashed in the ocean? Sea King pilot over here? <laughs> It came in a bad week, though, with the catapult being out and all. <laughs> so, uh, any U of T students here? Any alumni? Don't get too excited. I'm living proof they should close that school down. <laughs> I got two business degrees at U of T. They might as well have given me a bowling <laughs> I'm a vegetarian, folks. Went into a restaurant last week, ordered a plate of parsley, and said, Garnish that, you bastard. <laughs> so they did. They put a big pig on the corner of my plate. It pissed me off. 
But when I called in for reservations, I said to the girl, I'd like a table for two, please. She said, can you spell your name? <laughs> yes. <laughs> you know, spelling would be the criteria, but if it's a problem, put me in the non-spelling section. <laughs> Everybody happy with the election? No. Yep. No. no. Yes. No. Stephen Harper? Yeah. Had some good ideas though, didn't you think? He decided to protect Canada's sovereignty by uh, getting three icebreakers for the north. I'd always wondered that myself, if some rogue nation ever decided to grab two icebreakers and approach us from the north, we'd be fucked. <laughs> that covered. <laughs> so I show on cholesterol on PBS. The announcer came out at the beginning of the show and said one out of three people watching the show will die of heart disease. Turn the channel. No show is worth that kind of risk. Only <laughs> 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 oh, like people have come up to me and they'll say stupid things like eat this, it'll put hair in your chest. Or eat this, it'll put hair in your chest. I'm just looking for the food I've been eating that's putting hair on my back. <laughs> a long time I thought it was sweet potatoes. But I actually, <laughs> actually uh, experimented on an ex-girlfriend. Turns out I just grew hair in her ass. <laughs> I didn't say I didn't like it. <laughs> When I left her about 10 years ago, she was 107 pounds. I saw her recently. She's ballooned up to 110 pounds. <laughs> so she's gone into Nutrisystems. Apparently there's a sale in there, a dollar a pound for every pound you lose. So I took them in $110 and asked them to lose her to completely. <laughs> her relatives are in the back corner. So when I was 60, I did the Pepsi Challenge. I worked for the Pepsi Challenge, and the Pepsi people would say, don't pick up Coke drinkers, they're fanatical. This one kid kept pestering me all day, he wanted to take the test, and so I eventually gave in to him, and uh, he tried to write cup, he says, this is a stupid test. I can tell Coke in my sleep, that's Coke. He tried the left cup, he says, that tastes like warm goat piss. <laughs> I said, two for two. I do my uh, grocery shopping, I go in the meat department and I see boneless, skinless chickens. I figure they're better off dead. <laughs> <laughs> kind of like good to leave boneless and skinless. It's a bunch of cold, wobbly chickens. Here's a time saver. Why don't the cops go to no fix the dress and arrest everybody? <laughs> I'll leave you with uh, one final thought. I've been buying craft dinner for a lot of years and they're pissing me off. Every time I open a box, it's always the same price. A bag of cheese. Thank you very much.